Do you have a normal car and wonder if you could take it on wild adventures? If the car you already have is good enough for overlanding? You see, I'm a guy of simple taste. You just pop those in and your feature, this folds out into a bed. My word. <laughs> Two little latches at the end of the bed. Wait. Seconds from when you unzip it. I enjoy uh, dynamite, gunpowder, and you know the thing that they have in common? They're a cheap. Your spotlights, your working lights. It's also got uh, the air compressor. It's an ARB air compressor, which is under the driver's seat. Hell yeah, man. Congratulations, That's amazing. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. In today's video, I'm gonna explore that with my own tiny car, which is a Mini Cooper S. Is it good enough to take on wild adventures? Is your Honda Civic good enough to take on wild adventures? Let's find out together if a small car can be used for overlanding. It's so hard to wild camp here in the UK. It's unbelievable. I actually came to Wales. I drove four hours to a national park. I am in it right now. And I cannot find anywhere to wild camp. Look at it. Like this is absolutely beautiful. Fantastic. It's amazing. So this is where I am right now. But I don't know where to camp. I don't know where to start the video because Every like parking, public parking that I was going to go to, first of all, it was full of people. And second of all, there were signs like no camping and this and that. And I probably shouldn't be here right now, like where I am right now, I probably shouldn't be here because all I did was go through a open gate that I saw, which I probably shouldn't be here. But if somebody comes to tell me anything, I'm going to tell them, well, there's no signs, no private property, no do not enter, absolutely nothing. So that's the gate right there. And this is my car right there, which is like I was going to show you, like I've got an awning for the mini, for the bloody mini. And I've got the tent and I've, I was going to show you everything. If they kick me out, well, I can leave. There's another parking, which was the parking that I was originally going to go to. I don't know if I should, <laughs> I really don't know what to do. Um, do you think they're going to kick me out tonight? They prob probably they will, because it seems like it's a field, something. But the gate is open and I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to try to stay here. I, w I was thinking making a fire, but I'm thinking that that's not going to be on the cards. Even though there's, there's loads of wood. Just don't want to draw any attention to myself more than absolutely necessary. And um, yeah. Should we start setting it up? You should always take into consideration the type of car that you drive in. You don't have a 4x4. You're going over landing with a car that doesn't have four-wheel drive. So you always have to take that into consideration and know the roads that you're going to take your car on. You can get away with going through mud and through grass. There's certain places you cannot go with a normal car and you have to live with it. You don't have the lift, you don't have spaces, you don't have all-terrain tires. I actually tried to find all-terrain tires for my Mini and couldn't find them anywhere. So always bear that in mind. You have a normal car, you don't have four-wheel drive and there's certain limitations that you have and you have to work around through those. So the awning set up and as you can see, I'm much taller than the awning. I can always lift it up a little bit and um, it's fine, I can. So nothing will happen, but I don't want to force it too much. But as you can see, I can lift it up slightly. It's got a limit, but I can lift it up pretty much so I can stand at least on this side.
I like this chair, but it digs into the ground so much. It's unbelievable. So coffee is ready. I'm gonna make a mocha. I thought this was sugar, but it's not, it's hot chocolate. It's so annoying. You wanna go wild camping, you wanna go overlanding, and there's just so many places you can't go, so many restrictions here in the UK. It gets to a point where it's really, really annoying. Can you hear the sheep? But I'm just, I'm scared to set up camp. I've got a power station, I've got solar panels, I've got a fridge, and everything that I wanted to show you. So, the awning is from a brand called Vivor, and this chair is sinking into the ground. It's from a brand called Vivor, and usually, like, car awnings are a bit pricey. It's moving around quite a lot, it's quite a lot of wind, and I hope the stakes can hold it down. Like I was saying, from a brand called Vivor, it only costed £90 and usually car owners cost like £300. I still have to show you the power station, the solar panels. I'm just hearing it making noise and I'm scared, but it should be fine. Now, you have to be mindful of the car that you have and the places that you're going. You can't just throw your car into crazy mountains with like summer tires. I have summer tires because I'm not gonna put all-terrain tires on on this car. I can't even, I tried to look for them, I can't even find all-terrain tires for this car. In terms of convenience or comfort, you can get it up there with like a rooftop tent like I have with an awning and you can get really good results, that's my opinion. I'm just thinking I might just set up camp and to hell with whatever happens. If they kick me out, I'll just pull everything out and leave. I have a fridge. I have the EcoFlow River 2. It's 300 watt output and 268 watt hours. I have 94% left. So the fridge is out, the EcoFlow is out. I have the drone batteries charging. I have it connected to the fridge. So it's saying 11 degrees. I didn't bring much, so I didn't even need to bring it. I just brought it to show you guys. That's it, I have the tent box, the awning, the EcoFlow, the fridge on a bloody mini. The EcoFlow River 2 accepts 110 watts of solar. I got a 200 watt solar panel, which I'm gonna set up right now. Let me set it up, connect it, and let's get cracking. Now, the reason why I got a 200 watt solar panel, although the EcoFlow River 2 only accepts 110, is because if it's not if it's not completely sunny like right now, it's really 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 cloudy. I'm getting 79 watts of solar with a 200 watt solar panel, and I'm outputting between charging the drone batteries and charge and the fridge the camping fridge i'm using 50 watts so basically i have unlimited power right now i'm getting 80 watts from the sun is literally hiding behind the clouds it's not even peaking and i'm getting 79 watts and i'm outputting 43 so i'm just gonna enjoy this for a while i'm gonna relax it's still very early, it's still like 10 to 4, so I'm going to relax. And the fridge right now, if you remember, I told you it was 11 degrees, it's gone down to 9. The compressor is working until it gets down to 4 degrees, which is what I have it on. I think it's like 30 something Fahrenheit. Um, yeah, so right now I am inputting 82 watts from solar. And I'm not even kidding, like, let me record it with the GoPro. The sun is literally behind the cloud. It's not even like showing. And I'm getting 85 watts and I'm out to put in 49. So it's like unlimited energy. But I still have a USB-C that I can use. And I still have 
the AC plug, which if you have something that really takes a lot of wattage, it doesn't really matter. Like right now the sun is picking up more and I'm getting 106. So with the sun actually hitting the panel, I'm getting 106 and the sun right now, it's still behind the cloud, but it's hitting it much more and I'm getting 106. So, it, I mean, it depends what you want to connect, like forget about kettles and like toasters and stuff like that. Maybe you can run it for a little while and depends on the wattage, but to run a fridge and um, charge your phone, your laptop, your tablet and all of those things, this is more than good enough. That was insane. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if the awning will let me put the, the metal thing that you use to open the window. I'm hoping it will. And when I installed it, I tried to separate it as much as I can without being too separated. So that's another thing that I've got to check, let's see. So I've done a little invention. I've used guidelines and I've tied it to the end of the awning. It's not perfect and it's a bit bent, but it'll work for now. So now that the sun is coming out, let's see how much 54, 57. And so we're still at 97%. So now 57 watts, 47 out, 57 in. And we have 99 hours left. 60 watts, the sun is peeking through. The sun right now at 61, it's going up, but you get the thrift. If you get a power station or if you get the EcoFlow River 2, that's the one I have. Make sure that you buy a higher solar wattage than the power station can draw in, because when it's cloudy, you will still get power to the power station and that's really nice. So yeah, everything's set up. The awning is really, really nice. I'll leave links in the description below for everything that I'm using. And all of that, we're doing it with a mini. 
which is absolutely bonkers. I forgot where the tent box sent me a strap to hold that in place. I forgot where I got it. And inside of my palace, This is what it looks like. I've got my home pillow. I've got the down sleeping bag fluffing up. The owner of the land came and told me to, to bugger off. I get it, it's his land, it's his property. He was a bit angry and I understand. And um, I told him I didn't see any signs, I didn't see anything that was said, you know, forbidden. And yeah, he said, oh, I've got a thousand acres if I put a sign on every property. Look, he wasn't the, he wasn't rude or anything, but he, you could see that he was angry and he just wanted me to leave. I was trying to speak to him, like trying to tell him, oh, you know, I'm not gonna mess you all, because he was saying that I'm gonna mess the ground. And, and I said, I'm, I'm gonna try my best to, to do it. But he didn't, he was like, leave now. <sighs> Such a shame, because the place is lovely. But I have to leave. So I had to leave and I'm in a new place. This is the original place that I was going to come to and there's a stream right there but as you can see there's not good views and um, it's kind of like a parking there's another camper van right there and I, I'm guessing they're going to stay the night too but yeah it was a bit rude like look I don't mind it's your land and I understand this place is very lovely as well and calm it's full of fucking midges I already set up the thermocell but it's full of midges it's unbelievable completely full uh yeah it's lovely as well really beautiful but like i said there's another camper let me show you around so if i stay quiet i'm sure you can hear the stream it's running down there let me show you So I can hear that stream. So I'm guessing the night is going to be very lovely and peaceful. And this is where I'm set up. I'm not going to set up the awning or anything. There's another camper van, like I said. And uh, yeah, this place is really calm. I would say the sound of the water going to sleep, that's going to be really nice. I hope the midges go away because they're like, Jesus, it's, the, the, it's an invasion. But yeah, I'll catch you guys when, when I cook dinner. I did drive for a while, so I tried to drive and look for another place as nice as the one that I was, but I just couldn't find it. So I got my setup done for the night. I'm making a coffee. I have the power station there, the fridge there. There's no point putting the solar panels because there's no sun. I hanged the lights that I'm gonna plug into the power station later. And yeah, I'm making a coffee, living the life. This is my lovely home for the night.
listening to the stream on the mountains. You couldn't ask for anything better, although the midges are killing me. I've already put the thermosil, but to no avail. It's so peaceful here. You don't hear anything but the midges, oh my days. I've put some incense, some citronella incense. The thermosil is going strong right there. They don't care. <laughs> they don't care. They are absolutely harassing me. But this place, just listen. The stream, the birds, and the midges. <laughs> yeah. At least I got all the footage down in the, the field. I got to try and show you the awning, which I haven't tried it myself. It's the first time that I tried it. <sighs> kind of a bummer that he kicked me out because there was a stream there also. And just when he came, I was untying the... Remember the guy ropes that I showed you? That I tied from the rain flight to to the awning I was just untying them and I was just gonna go to the stream that it was just down there but what can you do this place is really nice as well it's just that I don't like I, I don't know how to explain it but I don't record and I don't behave as I would if I was alone like I'm trying to be as quiet as possible not make myself notice too much because there's another camper van right there they just want to spend the night here as well and look i understand it so i'm trying to be as quiet as possible but i would be talking to you guys jesus christ the midges don't give a fuck about the thermosil i've got incense look i've got incense there another one there another one there I've got like four fucking stripes of incense, the thermosil. They don't care. They don't they don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. And uh, yeah, I can't go in the camper van like they can. So the midges are not bothering them because they're inside the camper van. But they are torturing me, Jesus Christ. It's so peaceful. I'm gonna start cooking dinner. Maybe it's too early to plug the lights, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It's quarter to nine, so good time to cook dinner. And yeah, I'm gonna crack on. And I'm gonna boil some water for the pot noodle. Cheers guys. German sausages and burnt instant mash. The instant mash is not too bad actually. It's a little bit burnt, but it's all right. There's a little bird there, somewhere there. He came to see if he can get some. It's a little bit hot. Hello, buddy. You're my dinner partner for tonight. Is it nice, the instant mash? You don't care that it's burnt, do you? And the German sausage seems good, huh? You look fat, hey? You look fat. I like the sausages. Now it's properly filled. So it says to recover and leave for two minutes. And then add this. <sighs> I had dinner. I still have to have the pot noodles. 
they're just there waiting for me but yeah with my buddy I had dinner with my buddy how can I call him how can we call him mm, Tom I like Tom it was my dinner partner birdie Tom Tom birdie Tom birdie I cracked open a ginger beer they don't have alcohol I don't understand how ginger beers don't have alcohol because it says beer but it doesn't have any alcohol I swear I love them so now crack on with pot noodle a ginger beer sound of the stream dinner finished it's really nice here in the summer because in winter in the UK it's like pitch black it's night time at like half past 4 p.m. and it's like half past 9 p.m. and it's still daylight so we, I appreciate it when it gets dark late and the midges are not giving up Yeah, but I'm really, really tired. The guy kicked me out. I went to look for another place. I couldn't find it. Came back here and I'm just tired. I've got a movie. I, well, I've got a few things to watch actually. And I'm gonna show you a trick that if you have a rooftop tent, you're gonna like to watch movies. And it's how to hang the iPad. I am tired and the midges are annoying the hell out of me I just wanted to show you the power station at the end of the day I'm just powering the lights but we have eight hours left so if I don't turn off the lights I would have eight hours but I will turn them off because I will go to bed and I'll just take it upstairs, charge my phone, charge everything that I have to charge. But as you can see with the solar panels, this just goes on and on and on. I'm just relaxing. It's 10 to 5. I'm quite tired, but I'll try to enjoy the night a little bit, stay here a while even though my instinct is telling me to go to bed. And I have a few movies that I want to watch. So I don't know when I'll be going to bed. Right now I have some gummy bears, some dessert, much needed dessert. So I'm gonna tackle these. So I'm up in the tent and here's the trick that I wanted to talk to you about. Remember I told you I had a trick for hanging the iPad? Most rooftop tents come with this kind of straps to use it for when you close the tent but if you hang one of them up here if your tent has four holes like mine has if your tent has openings like that and you get those four hanging things well you hang one of those like that and then let me show you I can just hang the iPad from up there and watch movies while I go to bed. It's actually kind of cool. We're struggling. That means a lot of people, even in our church, feel really alone. So let's show them our love and send these boys off in the embrace of God's love. Jolie, Michael Rand. Good morning, everybody. So, I'm gonna have a coffee. It's 
quarter past eight and I'm just gonna have a coffee and go home. So I'm just having breakfast. I had a really good night. The sound of the stream was very, very calming. I went to bed straight away. I did watch the movie, the whole movie. The Protector, it was a good movie actually. I quite enjoyed it. It's been a long time since I enjoyed movies like from straight, from beginning to end. It was a good movie. And yeah, I'm just gonna pack up everything and leave. The camper van stayed the whole night too, so there's that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and like always, see you in the next one.